guys, it's me Stace. I am back again today with another Cricut Explore video. For today's video, I thought we would try the Cricut Glitter Iron-On Vinyl and apply it to a tote bag. Now I get the tote bags at Walmart. They're in a package of three, maybe eight or nine dollars, and each one measures 13 and a half by 13 and a half by three and a half. Two colors, they have them in white and also khaki. I chose the white, and it's like a canvas bag. The first thing I did was take the bag out used my iron on it so it was nice and flat, smooth, and free of wrinkles. And I'm going to actually put this in my car for my Stampin' Up! catalogs and things like that. So I'm going to do I Heart Stampin'. Alright, so here is what the glitter iron on looks like. It comes in a sheet of 12 by 19. I just have a small piece in case I mess up. Now you'll see there's two sides. There's a shiny side and a matte side. You want to iron it to where you want to put it on your mat to where the shiny side is down like that. Do your designing, then do the mirror image so it'll cut out correctly, then iron it to your bag. Let's go to the Cricut and get started. Alrighty, we're at the computer. You want to go to Cricut.com slash design. You're going to see this screen here. Upper left hand corner where it says account. Click on that to sign in. Enter in your email and your password. Now I do have the dial setting on the machine itself set between iron on and light cardstock. Alright, when you see your name in that green box, that verifies you're logged in. Now you want to go to create new project. And I'm just using, like I said, a scrap piece of that vinyl, but I do want to make myself a template. So I'm going to go to my left hand side toolbar, click on insert shapes and grab that square. Then change this, my vinyl is about 12 by 6 and a half. So I have my square selected, go to my edit panel, I'm going to unlock the lock. Alright, so my width is about 12. I'm going to click on enter and my height is around 6.5. Alright, so we have our template here. I'm going to go to my layer panel and then change the color of that gray by clicking on it in my box there to be white. All right, so now I have my template. On the left-hand side toolbar, click on where it says Add Text, and I'm gonna do I Heart Stampin', and I want my I and the word Stampin' to be separate. So I'm gonna do the letter I here, then click off, and then click on that again so I can change the font. So I have my I selected, go to the Edit Panel, and click on where it says Cricut Alphabet, and then choose a font you like. I'm gonna go to Don Juan, and to get there quicker in that search box, I'm gonna type in D-O-N-J, and you'll see Don Juan appear there. All right, so we have that one. Let's go ahead and move that guy over here. Now go back, add text box again. In this box, I'm gonna do Stampin'. All right, and then we can move that guy around. Now, left-hand side toolbar, I'm gonna grab a heart. So go back to Insert Shapes and grab a heart. And now we can kind of play around with all this here and see how we like it. I'm gonna make this one be big. Make my Stampin' be big as well. And then my heart, I'm going to kind of make this center a little bit here. I make my heart a little bit bigger. I'm going to rotate the heart a little bit. And then my stamp, and I want this to be a little bit taller, so I'm going to go have my word selected, click on the lock, then I can kind of move it down a little bit. And I'm just going to move all these guys back up. Right, that's actually kind of cute. Yeah, I like that. All right, so now we have our template. We can go ahead and delete this square behind it. We no longer need that. All right, so I'm going to take these. I'm going to I'm going to make sure they cut out the way they are here. So take your left mouse button. First, I'm going to change all the colors. So go back to your layer panel, click on each one, and change them all to be the same color. So I'm just going to pick I don't know this wine color for each one. All right, so they're all the same color. Now take your left mouse button, take it across the entire image, go to your layer panel, and click on attach. That way it'll keep it this way. All right, now you want to go ahead and click on go. All right, we see that there. You want to go on the left-hand side where it says material size and check that box that says mirror image and you'll see it's going to flip our image around. And then click on go. I'm going to load my mat up. Oops. Load my mat again. All right, so our mat is loaded. Now the dial position is set to iron on, so we should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out, and I'll meet you at the table, and we'll put this on our bag. All right, guys, we're back. I went ahead and cut that out. It's going to take this off our mat. Now what you do is you want to weed this out and remove all the extra vinyl. So just take a little weeding tool like this, and I'm going to kind of cut away some of this. We don't need to waste all this. So I can save that later, maybe add another heart or something on it sooner later. All right, so take your weeding tool, and you 
want to remove this, just like you're doing regular vinyl. Okay, so see I was leaving our piece there. I oh, didn't cut out my S all the way. All right, so if it doesn't cut out, just take your weedy tool and kind of poke at it. It's pretty forgiving. It's kind of hard to read this backwards. Right, so I'm going to push my other S down. There we go. See, I'm just kind of poking it along as I go, being very careful as I lift it up all the way. Yeah, it didn't really do a good job as cutting it. It didn't seem to cut all the way through. Maybe next time, you know, do a different setting on the machine. All right. I'm going to go ahead and weed this out. I'll meet you back here when I'm done. All right, guys, I am back after about 10 minutes of weeding. I did find the weeding to be the hardest part. I literally had to go in there and hold down my letters while I pulled the vinyl up. But I think it is really, really cute. Isn't that cute? All right, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and iron the bag in the directions it says to iron this about 10 to 15 seconds just to get it warm. I think that's about good. Then figure out where you want this to go. I'm going to kind of put it on an angle a little bit like that. All right, now I'm going to cover this up. You don't want to iron directly on that film. Just take a little bit of fabric here. And then again, you want to iron this for about 10 to 15 seconds. And you always want to keep the iron moving. If this turns out cute, I may have to get more of this. I do kind of like it. I'm just going to do a little test. Again, keep the iron moving. And this, uh, the iron is on the highest setting, which is my cotton setting with no steam. I don't know if I said that already or not. All right, so we're going to lift that up. And then let's go ahead and test this. It's hot, so be careful. Oh, and look at that. It's coming right off. Beautiful. Oh, I do like that. What do y'all think? I think it's really, really cute. Now, it does say, I'm going to let this cool. This is really, really hot. So I'm even my ironing board's hot here. If you want to let it cool for a little bit, then go inside and iron it this way. So we're going to do that. Hopefully, my iron will fit in here. Just to kind of get it on the other side, just real quick. Not very long. Now, it says you can wash this. Um, you know, it says to wash it with the glitter side on the inside. I probably wouldn't put it through the dryer, but I definitely, you know, you can wash it if you want to, but there you have it. How fun is that, right? This is really cute. All right, so there you have it, guys. Uh, today's project, the Cricut Glitter Iron-On Vinyl. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.